Hello, open source enthusiasts. This is another edition of the opensource.com weekly top five. And I am your host, Jen Y. Kuger. I'll be running down the list of our best articles from the past week. First, we've got a chance for you to win a Raspberry Pi kit by taking our reader survey. You have until midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. There's a link in the note to this video, so go take it now. All right, first up on our list at number five is The Future of Open Source and Health IT by Tony McCormick. This is an interview with Fred Trotter on the current state of open source and healthcare. Fred is a frequent speaker at OzCon and was recently a panelist at the South by Southwest MedTech Conference. Tony McCormick asked the questions you want to know about electronic records and the work of those in the space like Fred's company, Open Source Health Inc., and others like DotGraph, Vista, and CareSet. Next at number four, a tinkerer's tool for PC, PCB design and printing. This story is about Fritzing and part of our open hardware series this week. Fritzing is an open source application for hardware and electronics enthusiasts that allows users to create schematics by selecting parts from a large library, connecting them, and laying them out on a virtual breadboard. At number three on the list, how open source disrupted the CMS market. Alan Vuv says although the software industry is leading the open source movement, content management systems have played a significant role in paving the way for the influence of open so source software today. He breaks it down for us in this timely article. At number two, OpenStreetMap responds in, in Nepal. The humanitarian OpenStreetMap team has been organizing the mapping of disasters on OpenStreetMap like the earthquake in Nepal this year since the earthquake in Haiti in 2010. By pinpointing areas in exact locations and what they need, the efforts of first responders like the Red Cross and the United Nations are more efficient and meaningful. Finally, topping the list this week at number one is, should I get an Arduino or Raspberry Pi? By a wide margin this week, Ruth Sahil's article answering this question for electronics and hardware enthusiasts of whether they should get a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino hit the top of the list this week with almost 10,000 page views since Tuesday. Ruth is the co-author of Raspberry Pi Hacks, so you might think she would be biased one way, but she argues for each one for different reasons. Find out why by reading the full article. This week, we also have an honorable mention. We wrapped up our open hardware series this week with an article outlining our team's staff open hardware day a couple of, that we had a couple of weeks ago. We gathered at Red Hat Tower to work on a light up backpack inspired by a project we found on Instructables and we played with Minecraft Pi on our Raspberry Pi. We ended the day with a 3D printing demo from Tom Calloway and his Lulzbot open source 3D printer. That's it everybody. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you next time with another edition of the opensource.com weekly top five.